ground floor of your, of your facility, of your high performance center. I feel like we're in the engine room. You've got squat racks, barbells, plates. There's going to be a lot of movement here. Talk to us about the activity that happens in this environment. Uh, and then also the, the ability of what the floor provides you for expanding your program. Yeah, so when you look at our sporting program, we've got about seven sports across the year. So you're talking about some teams in season, and some teams uh, pre-season. So I need to have the ability through the floor to get three different groups through. And so what I, what I wanted from play is I wanted a platform system where the whole floor is flat, but I can drop the weights on. So if I'm going to do Olympic lifting, if I'm going to be squatting and plates are going to drop, I don't have any tripping hazards. I don't have anyone walking behind, okay, that's going to fall on a plate or step on a bar. And this is what it, what, it, uh, what it provides me, which is perfect. Athletic development, mate, it's so much more than just what happens in the room with sets and reps, right? It's, there's an impact greater outside the four walls of the gym. Can you talk to that a little bit? Look, it, I mean, looking at uh, strength and conditioning, it's not exactly that. It's not lifting weights. It's not bodybuilding, okay? It is producing power. It's producing speed. Uh, all, all the things uh, come together. Now, what we don't think about at school, we don't think about recovery, we don't think about nutrition, we don't think about you know, student or player well-being. These are all highlighted now in all the professional sports of where our athlete is at to get the best performance. And that's what I'm bringing into this program as well. If I can help them improve in class, I get a better output here. If I get the parents and teachers online, I get more time with the kids. Let's go on a bit of a tour, mate, and have a look around. Yeah, for sure, I'll show you around. Level one of the High Performance Center. There's uh, some big open space in here, some cardio down there. Talk to us about the activity that takes place on this particular level. Look, you're not wrong, it is very open. Um, it houses my rowing cardio equipment, or the rowers ergos there. And also this area here, as you can see here, the attack turf underneath, the monkey bars on the top, as well as the stall bars over there. It services my younger kids yep. uh, as they, they come in. It services my rehab. It serves as my prehab, and it also serves as a circuit area. I can see it serves as a nice progression, or I guess a natural progression, right? You're up here, you're a junior kid working through that space, learning the fundamentals, and they, the transition to downstairs where we were earlier, it, it's quite natural for that, I'm assuming. Well, that's how the flow of the gym, that's exactly how I wanted to design the gym, is that you actually earn the right to come downstairs. Makes and now, sense. the other part of that is if you don't earn the right to come downstairs and you're late, you earn the right to be on a watt bike or a ski <laughs> erg, okay, for a period of time. And that's your right. Well, we've got a 15 metre little turf area here. I guess it's more than just, what, there's no sleds up here, right? So it's more no. than just pushing sleds on that. Talk to us about, the, I guess, the plyometric type movement you're applying to that type of area. Yeah, so the reason I wanted that, uh, that track there was one, uh, and, the, and the markings on it actually is one, for agility. Yep. Okay, for agility, for animal walks. So I want a long, long uh, line of animal walks where the guys uh, continue on. Not only that, you can see how it's marked there. We can start doing hops, we can start doing bounds, we can start learn how to land, how to jump. And it all progresses us in physical literacy, not just for sport, but in later in life. Absolutely. Absolutely. 